was. Frankie Merman is a sci-fi character appearing in the junk mail. He portrayed uh, Daniel Frankie as known to be very sensitive. His nickname is Fragile Frankie Merman. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So uh, you know, don't be, a, what, don't be a fragile Frankie Merman. All right. <laughs> wasn't wasn't Merman also the the name Merle. of Fred and Ethel on on I Love Lucy? Weren't Mertz. they Fred and Ethel Mertz. Merman? It no, was Ethel, Ethel, it was Mertz. Uh, it was Mertz. It wasn't Merman. No, it was Mertz. Hmm, Just think Gertrude. how fucked up I Love Lucy is, and I think this is going to be the fucking intro. Just think how fucking fucked up I Love Lucy was. Ricky Ricardo is like a 30-some-odd-yard fucking... He's a, a god. Women love him. He's a fucking guy that's it, it's got the Copacabana. He's doing records. He's doing albums. He's doing movies. His best friend is a 65-year-old man <laughs> whose name is Fred Mertz, and he's a landlord in a fucking NYC tenement. <laughs> <laughs> How is that fucking possible? You know, hey Fred, let's go out and get some fucking. It's not working. It's not working. How is it? All right, Rick, let's go. <laughs> there's, you know, there's no way. Yeah, Who there's came no up way. With that? Who the there's fuck no came way. There's there's no way Fred and Rick were out there fucking. There's there's no way they're best. No. They're best friends. They bought no. a house in the country together. They were they bought to houses be best in friends. the country together and raised chickens. How the <laughs> fuck is that possible? <laughs> fucking Ricky Ricardo was a fucking god. You know what I mean? He was a fucking god, man. You know he wasn't. He was fucking mad, bitches. He wasn't fucking. <laughs> he was probably fucking Ethel. Oh, you know, was, I'm gonna tell you right now. He, he was, was doing fucking. The, Ethel. He, he was doing down at, <laughs> down at the Copacabana. He was doing that uh, Howard Stern fucking butt bongo fiesta. Fuck you know yeah, what I'm saying? All them fucking shit stuff. <laughs> no, like. Uh, Ricky, come nail me in the ass. Get the fuck out of here, man. And his best friend's a 65-year-old man that's ready to die? Come on, Rick. Maybe. Let's go downstairs and raise some chickens. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, I love it. I love it. Are we ready to go? Yeah, sure. Cobra, la 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 Something happened with Mitty because I heard like he had fucking people chained to a radiator in that house, bro. It was like fucking. It was like this in the background. <sighs> he had to fucking pause. He had to pause and go off camera, bro. I guess we got two intros tonight. <laughs> he had to pause and go off camera. Maybe, maybe we gotta, maybe, you know, not not just only an intro. We do the outro. <laughs> <laughs> he had to make sure that everybody was properly duct taped and hogtied. <laughs> Whatever, he's gonna come back. I'll tell you what happened is his fucking wife heard his fucking Facebook fucking secret <laughs> dude <laughs> name. <laughs> that dude's gonna come back with a black eye. He's gonna have to put uh, a stake on it. He's it's gonna be so big he needs to put a stake on it like back in the day. Hey Fred! Hey Fred! Did, sh- Lucy punched me in the eye. Should I put a stake on it? Yeah, Rick, put a stake on it. <laughs> yeah, five, four, three, five, four, three, two, one. Intro. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Terradrome, the podcast by the guys who podcast like it'll be their last podcast. Because why? It just might be what's going on guys everybody good we're back on our normal night our yes, normal we're back Woo! Yeah, we're balance we're balanced yes. shout out to pregnant pauses, to get any bum. yes yes yeah, midi so are you back son you're good midi i'm back I'm good no black eyes you're great i would have a black it's, eye it sounded like we, you we, had we, a fucking we a family we, kidnapped we, we, we heard a ruckus back there can you describe the ruckus <laughs> yeah it sounded like your wife was beating your ass well <laughs> maybe it's just people having fun listen maybe maybe because his internet usually lags he did a fucking b and e broke into a home <laughs> that had better internet he fucking fucking tied up the family and he's like listen i need your fucking your fucking feed for an hour give me and your half. internet now <laughs> <laughs> i need your wireless now <laughs> give me your password it's all about now that ping. 
That's why. That's why he's uh, not on camera right now. So that's right. Because he's got fucking people hogtied behind him. That's fucking why. Man, here we go. The energy is here. The energy is definitely in the house tonight, man. All I'm right, back, the baby. I'm back. The, I'm back. The ma- the madman from Macon, Bo. What's going on, my dude? How you been? Oh, I've been. I've been making fantastic. It. I've been. I've been making it. You know. You know, making it. Da, 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 da. You remember making that back in the eighties? Making pancakes. Making pancakes. Wasn't there a sitcom in the eighties called Making It? Late seventies, early eighties. I know you guys uh, are gonna it's sound like a theme song. Yeah, you got. Yeah, it was yeah, Making It. Making It. That sounded like a fucking play you were in. No, I'm very old. So, uh, <laughs> check. hey, by the way, check out check out the air fryer in the detolf in the background. Uh, 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 there's a joke going around in the uh, Transformers community about my air fryer, and uh, I decided to put in a detolf. And I, I was wondering so, if anybody's going to notice on Enter the Realm tonight, and a few people noticed. So shout out to air fryers and detolfs. Uh, you didn't even slip on a faction sticker. Is no, I got a, a, no, an, an ROC or, sticker. Or a it's a Realm Collectors. It's an official branded Realm Collectors air fryer. Does it have a name? Is, is it a culinary con? No, uh, the Ooh, one that I'm working one. on, has a, uh, a mini, it has a mini keg in there and it transforms into a robot. We we discussed that last week. For our Dude, I, yes, uh, I think I don't know. That, does that one have a name? What, if it's evil, is it benevolent? You know, we were talking robots here. Listen, I know. think I listen. I uh, think yo, 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 let's give a shout out for Minnie's big word of the night, benevolent. Yes, I, did I you say know that right? I didn't even hear a clap. You know, well, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to find the program real quick. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, listen. Also, Sorry, I wasn't I think, ready. I think I think uh, Mitty might be onto something with the culinary con thing. So like the chest is an air fryer, and then like fucking each leg is like a stand of kegs. You know what I mean? Like fucking uh, Bruticus and shit. So you want to make like, you want to make an air fryer combiner? Yes, exactly. Like there's, you know, there's or, a crock pot fucking uh, backpack. Yes, boom. You know, yes. So any any type um, of uh, a coffee pot turns into an arm. So you're talking yes. about that, you know, like like it's a combiner. Any any type of. All right, that's next level. I was just trying to make one little uh, air fryer into a robot, but you know, I'm you're going talking about some fiction. Shout out to Michael, Michael Bay. It sounds like a Michael Bay movie. <laughs> All right, we cut it. Uh, what the fuck is that? Uh, I, I don't know. know. Mitty, get out of that house before you get arrested. <laughs> run, Bo, run, Bo. Run before I fucking get you. Bo, we didn't finish with you, bro. How, how are you? <laughs> I'm great, man. I'm doing great. What, what do I bring to the program? A lot of noise. <laughs> uh, you been good? Yeah, man. I've been staying busy, uh, but but all in all, I'm I'm doing good, man. I got no complaints. All right, good that's week, good. man. That's good. Good. Happy to good happy week, to be man. here, man. Yeah, good week, man. How, how did uh? Oh, real quick, just because you know, I might be a stoner, but I remember stuff. How did uh the weekend with the boys go without the uh, wife? At all? Oh yeah, my wife was out of town all weekend. Uh, well, that was two weeks ago. But. That was two weeks ago. That was two weeks. <laughs> yeah, ago. It? it was definitely two weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm a stoner. At least I prefaced it with that. Hey, huh? hey, yeah, you you, <laughs> you acknowledge that you remembered, but under certain conditions, and and I appreciate that. Uh, but that that weekend was great, man. We had a there was like a, a soapbox derby here down one of the big hills in downtown. Yo, oh, for super, real? Yeah, dude, it was super dope. There was like a, a there was a Ghostbusters car. There was a car like all done up like a giant X wing. Man, it was super cool. So when you say soapbox derby, is like kids made the. the Nah, these are like grown teams of grown ups. Like grown men uh, making, making grown- <laughs> Oh, dude. Okay, so, so when you say yeah, you're so nah. derby, you're not talking about a bunch of kids with the It's, like the, it's like the fluke tog, right? The fucking the Red Bull. So what, what does yeah, what do I mean, grown yeah, men would- make out of fucking plywood? Oh, dude, they. they- it's not just plot. I mean, they go well above and beyond, dude. How big is it? It's 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 a one man racer down down the hill. Yeah, yeah, one man one man Jesus vehicle. Jesus Christ, man! Why, why, why don't these guys get a fucking job? <laughs> and even to the kids, please, dude. And please tell me that they're like with like dead serious like aerodynamic rules and shit, right? Like like the fucking like the thing can't weigh. Like they have to weigh in. They're checking for like weights that. underneath the bumper, like yeah, yeah. Pinewood Derby. Remember back in the Boy Scout days, with Pinewood Derby? Oh yeah, I did yeah. Pinewood Derby. Or a nickel. You can't put quarters. You're gonna be nickels for the weights. Uh, yeah, shout out to the Boy Scouts. 
but it was, it, it was entertaining best, do do for, uh, for my children, you know, so that's great. So did, so, so was, did they, uh, were they like, dad, let's fucking build one? No, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. No, oh, well, you, you got away. You got away scot free, my friend. You know what I could see? Like, like, like they, they were like, "Dad, let me get an icy and some cotton candy." Do you remember, you remember Armageddon? <laughs> Do you remember Armageddon when they were sending the shuttles up and Michael Bay did that slow motion and it was kids in like a, a homemade fucking shuttle and the wings were flattened. Oh yes, yeah. 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 slow motion. So, so, so this guy will watch Armageddon, but not Ready Player One. <laughs> Who you? Who's this? I said I watch Ready Player One, and I got twenty minutes in. It sucked. Armageddon is, is classic, and it's a fucking incredible oh. movie. Mad emotion. Bruce Willis. A lot of laughs. So I don't know who yeah. the fuck you're talking to. You're not talking not, to me, oh, are you? I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't think I so. Might have, I might have. Yeah. Spicy meatball. Spicy. I see you. Ah, uh, I, I love it. I love it. See, look, uh, see, look. Uh, Ready Player One jokes. We already talked about that. This shit's whack. Yeah, shit is incredible. <laughs> it's whack. Shut it. Whack. <laughs> Purple screen. All right, Mitty, what's up with you, my dude? You good? Yeah, man, I am good. I'm good. You know, today I have a uh, a special message from my boy Batman, letting me know oh, mm. what's what's going down here in these streets. Uh huh. Uh huh. Look at that, this kid. What? <laughs> what? Uh, so that yeah, that was a fail. fail. <laughs> so uh, Mitty, you're gonna have to run my speaker not being loud enough. Yeah, well, Mitty, you're gonna yes. have to run. You're gonna have to run those skits through me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need to <laughs> no. get approval when it comes on your side. Bro. We need to get approval. Uh, you know kidding, that was a buddy. fail, but it was a win. It okay, was, so, was, so basically, what did Batman yes. say for anybody that didn't yeah. didn't catch the <laughs> that was going on? I, you know, I don't know. You know, I'm you don't not even Batman. know. It's your skit. You don't even know. <laughs> is that is that uh was that like one of those like uh, toy masks that you put on and like talk through it? No, no, <laughs> no. no. Okay, that was perfect. Scary. So <laughs> why uh, the no. trade? Here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Edward, how are Yo. you, my friend? Dust mites. Yo, what's up, everybody? You Welcome good? to the Terra Drone. What episode is this? I don't even remember. This is, this is number eight. Is it yeah. eight or nine or some shit like that? Eight. Eight. And and the, and the, and and the best part about that is that when we were gonna do this, like one of the main fucking points that everybody made was we're not doing this every week. Yeah, yeah. It this was gonna be, be every like couple of once weeks. A month. Twice a month, top. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you motherfuckers caught the fucking flavor. Yeah, right? and you now here we flavor. are. Here we are. Eight weeks later, yeah. um, we're bringing you know, it to you guys every doing the thing. fucking week and having a great time, man. I love it, man. This is I could just let my hair down and just be me and just have a good time, man. Like, um, except for last week when I was <laughs> not being a my- fucking dick. Yeah, yeah, I was a fucking dick, man. It was just like it was late. I was cranky. That was cranky dust, man. And you're like, you're like, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, you were a shout, dick. Shout, shout out to Frogman. And Frogman hit me up, and he's like, "Yeah, the episode was great. It was really funny, but it didn't have that same energy." I was like, "Yeah, I wasn't being a dick." <laughs> no, yeah, you were fucking crunching I ice through a different the fucking dick. whole thing. I was being a different dick, but you know, I, I like know. it. I'm not gonna lie. You, you're surly. No, I love it. I love straight it. man. It. Fucking. Dust was uh, pretty. Funny. I listened to last episode and I thought it was great. You know, so if I can't have the uh, the spirits in me, we might not get the same fucking results. But it's still fucking funny as fuck, man. You guys are crazy. I love talking with you guys. We have such a good time. And if you guys aren't getting it out there, man, oh man, you fucked up, man. We, yeah, we're just... gonna. I'm gonna run something by you guys that we're gonna do to sure, get some sure, more people sure, 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 uh, sure. checking it out. But hey, four out of five dentists would agree that you. Why would you have to have a dentist? fucking? <laughs> Hey. Yes. Why would you have to bring that <laughs> fucking thing up? <laughs> Holy shit, man! Um, I, I've, had, I've had, I, I, I've had, I have someone that's been on the eviction notice for about two years now, and it's all the way in the back. It's a top it, uh, wisdom oh, tooth or a no, molar. It was, it's the the last the last guy in the row all the way to the back, <laughs> and, and I've been nursing it for two years, man, thinking like. Yeah, one day it's going to be a problem. One day it's going to be a problem. Well, guess what? Sunday it became a problem. 
And I just got to the point where I guess where it got to the point where it's got a lot of nerve now. You know what I mean? He's got a lot of nerve. Oh, boy, does it ever. Uh, boy, does I, it why ever. Why I oughta. <laughs> and um, that. You throbbing. got a lot of nerve, see? <laughs> hey, see? You got a lot of nerve, you bitch. And uh, it, that, that throb. And, you know, and I had such a peak fucking weekend because we went to Toy Con. We had a big meetup. You know, hanging out with everybody at a toy show, coming back, chilling at the crib, having some beers and chilling out. And like Sunday just fucking killed me. Like you had a good time. Well, go fuck yourself. Now you're not. Yeah, exactly. Now you're paying for it. Yeah. So it was about 11. Uh, it was about 10 o'clock, 1030 at night. I'm like laying on the couch like I got to do something with this. I'm not going to sleep. And I'm like, all right, I got some Colossopan, you know, because my anxiety. I don't want to opiate out. I don't want to be that guy to fucking pile on the opiates just to fucking fuck me. Fuck it. The rest of us on this panel are like, yeah, fuck yeah, opiate yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Some no, well, you know yeah. what? I, see, the problem with me was like, uh, I, I, I've been suffering from panic attacks for like 20 years and, um, my doctor just kept feeding me Xanax and Zoloft and it was a really tough time for me. And I broke free of that and I don't want to go back to that life and I'll use it when I need it, but I don't want to use it because I have a fucking toothache. So I'm laying there, slinging it. Yeah, I'm thinking about like, what the eight, fuck am eight, I gonna do? Eight bucks a pill, my dude. Slinging. Nah, nah, nah. Man. <laughs> yeah, that, you know what? Back <laughs> in the day, I was getting uh, what's what's the generic version of Xanax? Alprozam or Aloprozam? It was it, there were two milligrams, and I was getting ninety pills a fucking month. And it was cost. You could have invented trap. It was cost. It was costing me five dollars. <laughs> Whenever I went back, Mid- home, Mitty said you could have invented <laughs> trap music. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> shout, out, no, no, no. shout out to Gore-Tex. Shout out to Gore-Tex. Mr. Punch. Because, you know what? He was he was begging me for twenty pills a day. You know that shows you what that's that. But um, to get back on the track here, like I didn't want to have my fucking uh, to to rely on that for this. So I was googling and googling and googling. And uh, I, there was something called toothache, and it's the most That's generic. What you have? Yes, exactly. So you have a toothache, <laughs> and it's a product called toothache, and it's the most generic fucking product. Looking like it looks like a KO. If you were like a KO action figure, a KO transformer, that's what it is. And I'm looking, I'm, I'm, I'm watching videos and reading reviews and like, this changed my life. This works. Don't worry about it. it works. And I'm, I'm looking at uh, YouTube videos and the pain was so bad at, a, at 10 o'clock at night. I said, fuck it. I'm getting dressed and going to Walmart and buying this and trying it. So I got dressed. My Walmart's not far away. It's a quarter mile away. Came back. Got in the fucking, got in the fucking, uh, the bathroom. And basically, you, you got a little, you got a little bottle of the pill. You got these little cotton swabs that comes with and a, a tweezer, a curved tweezer to, to apply it to the tooth. And it says, do not put Does on it any pictures. It do not put, do not apply to any other skin or gum or anything like that. Don't put it on your piece. It's supposed to burn. Yeah. It's supposed to burn and, and numb yeah. from the touch. So I'm like, all right. So I, I dip it, and the tooth is in such a fucking your penis. position. And I'm trying to fucking get it up in there and fucking kill the fucking pain. And finally, I rock it in there. But my cheek, my gum, my lower gum, and it's dripping into my mouth. Everything is turning numb. All of a sudden, I'm Mary Joe <laughs> Buttigieg. You know, all of a sudden, I turn into Mary Jo Buttafuoco in the fucking 80s. If anybody knows that reference, shout out to Amy Fisher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my my Bro, fucking that's mouth a, is that's, drooping. That sounds like me on a fucking good Friday night when old fucking Paco came through. You know what I mean? <laughs> my mouth, my mouth <laughs> is drooping to the fucking side, and I'm like, eh, lh, 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 lh. my tongue's hanging out. But you know what? You've had a stroke. The pain is gone. The throbbing, the pain is still there, but that annoying, I want to fucking get in my car and run people over fucking pain, that nonstop, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight pain was gone. Gone. That's just showing you KOs have really uh, significantly. All right, we're going to continue with my story. Well, across the board. (laughs) Sometimes KOs are better than the originals. That shit lasted. (laughs) I didn't have to uh, apply it again until about twelve o'clock the next day. Oh and wow! Now, and now we're here at it's like a tooth Viagra. eleven o'clock on Monday, <laughs> and I'm still fine. Like the pain, it still hurts and tender when I touch it, but that throbbing, you know, like fuck you, you're gonna die. 
fucking pain is gone. So if you oh, have yeah, a fucking I know pain, all about it's, uh it's not gonna fix it. It's just it's it's going to just keep me at bay until I can get in and see my uh, uh my dentist, and then they're gonna send me to a, a oral a surgeon and 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 get it out. You know, it's, you know what I mean. So I hope his name this. is Earl. I hope it's Earl. Yeah, Earl, 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 Earl Surgeon. Yeah. Earl. <laughs> Shout out to Earl Surgeon. You know, he's, he's every. But thank you for asking. I know, and I I know I explained it a little bit long, but I really wanted to run with that uh that Butterfuco joke. You know, yeah. <laughs> you I, I saw joke. you going for it. I saw you going. Yeah, for if it. you like got that Butterfuco joke, you're you, you're in oh, my yeah. name right here. But you know, I'm doing good, <laughs> man. I'm happy. Shout out to you. All right. Well, um, myself, uh, this hey, weekend. Nate, uh, what's going on? Yes. This week? Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna have to ask myself. Um, <laughs> How's that bonsai uh, tree? That's what that's what the audience really wants to know. Are they still alive? Yes. Have, yes. Both of you now listen them to death. What's the update? I I, th- I appreciate you asking, Mitty. Uh, both of them are still alive. One of them, though, the lee it's got leaves instead of like, um, coarse, like fucking, uh, you know, branches, like, like, kind of like, like the fucking Mr. Miyagi bonsais. Those are like tight, you know, I, I don't know what the fuck to call them, but they're tight together. You got, and I have a, you, you got some KOs. Yeah, exactly. And I have another one that's got, um, more more like single um uh leaves on it and the leaves are very green and vibrant but they fucking droop like they're sad and i have this fucking sad tree that every day i fucking talk to and i'm like come on buddy i'm changing the window sills he's in i'm like is it fucking too much light is it too little light i'm fucking i'm 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 sprinkling water i'm dumping water i'm doing fucking i'm playing mozart for it i'm doing everything i'm I'm stroking your branches to the left to the right to the moon and 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 i'm gonna have to go back Next month to the bonsai class. Oh, you and gotta, I gotta br- I, you gotta, I gotta bring, bring it with in. you. Yeah, well, I gotta find oh. out what's wrong. Oh. I, 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 yes, and you gotta br- you gotta bring your disappointment. Yes, hi, right. disappointment. Yeah. Exactly. I gotta show up and I gotta be like, listen. You know what's gonna happen? Go paint the fence. Fun. Yeah, exa- <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're gonna tell me to fucking wax their cars. That's what the fuck's gonna Pick happen. Up, throw out. Yeah, so I gotta bring them. I gotta bring them in and uh, see what's wrong with them, and uh, I will give a. Uh, get the energy I will, <laughs> I will give an update. Um, one of the other things I did this weekend, um, besides uh, actually writing and making some music for the first time in a while, um, uh, I had Ethiopian food for the first time. Has anybody on the panel had Ethiopian food? I think this is where I need to go yes. take a piss. I've, been, I've, I've driven <laughs> down Fairfax many a time. I, I have not. Uh, just, uh, just for uh, uh, props and measure. I'm going to go take a piss. In the Cali, <laughs> chances are you've had Ethiopian food. So I, I, I told my roommate, he was like, what are you doing? brother, Nate. He was like, what are you doing this weekend? And I said, Oh, I'm gonna go out with a friend of mine, and we're gonna we're gonna. He's a vegan, and he was like, we're gonna have Ethiopian food. And he fucking looked at me and just deadpan, and he was like, "Wait a minute, I didn't think Ethiopians had food." <laughs> <laughs> it's and like not a lot of 85. Bees. They didn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's like the total 80s like joke. Like you're fucking. You look <laughs> somebody got Sally Struthers. All right, you remember? Right. You, remember you remember that I've been lied to. Do you remember that X Men? I I remember the X Men comic from '85 called Heroes for Hope, and the X Men <laughs> went to Ethiopia to try to help them. And 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 you know, yeah, there was an issue back in the day. We are the world. Now, listen, now there's no issue. We are the X Men. And listen, I thought that I wasn't going to like it because I thought it was going to be a good bit for the show. And then so I went and it was good. It was, was it okay. Good? Nothing really happened. It was so, I, so, it, so a lot of vegetables, little, some lentils, cabbage, green, a little green. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no yeah. meat, right? No meat. No, uh, no panther meat. There, there, was was no, right. there was no panther meat. One funny thing was, Whoa. was we, while we were there, everybody seemed to have like the, um, the old school twenties champagne glasses on their, on their table. Like, you know, like the ones that are not the flutes, but like 
the round, like the boardwalk empire round ones that, you know, like from the shining, like that kind of, those kind of champagne glasses. Right. And so every, every table had one and I'm, looking, and, I, and I'm looking and I'm like, fuck, are these people in here? Like fucking, are these vegans in here getting loaded so that, you know, the food is better, I guess. Right. So fucking the waitress <laughs> comes around and I said, and I said, I said, excuse me. Uh, so the I'd food like food is better. <laughs> I go, excuse me. Food is always better with alcohol. <laughs> I go, I'd uh I'd like a glass of champagne as well, please. You know? <laughs> and she and she just kind of fucking deadpans me and she goes, uh, when I'll have champagne. And I was like, Well Don't do it. Don't do it. What are all these tables drinking? What are all these tables? Those are panther tears. <laughs> yeah, they go, it's kombucha. Which is another thing. I don't know if anybody's had kombucha. It's like a, 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 cl- like a cleanser for your fucking body or whatever. But I was just like, what, uh, why can't you just put it in a regular glass? Why do you have to make it look like everybody's in your fucking toast into <laughs> like the new spirit. year? Like we're having a yeah. <laughs> like I, like I, like I didn't understand. I was like, I didn't, I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. It was, you know, you just so things. happened um, to go on Ethiopian New Year is what happened. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Like, that's what I expected. I was like, wow, this is, this is great. This is, this is great. Um, so, Mitty. There's a lot of better places to eat where you were at. It's a good joke. Uh, just didn't hear it. <laughs> so, Mitty. Yes, yes. I'm at the, I'm at, I'm at the store this week. I'm at the grocery store and I'm. I'm shopping. I'm doing my thing. What grocery store do you shop at over getting, there? In uh, Ralph's. In the I've never heard of Ralph's. That's because no, is, that, is, it a corner, is it a corner bodega? I no, it's like the a East Coast. Coast. Oh, it's yeah, you shit. have Kro- you have Kroger. No. Do you have yeah. Albertsons? No. Do you have, you have uh, the Win Dixie? No. Winco. No. Uh. Bo, what do you have? What, what can we come uh, on in? Yeah, no, I mean, you've, wow. you've named all the shit we got. We got, we Vons? used to have a food lion. We had a food lion for a while. What'd you feed him? I found fucking pig free. Oh shit, those were tigers. I'm in the grocery <laughs> business. I've never heard of those. So what, uh, what is so it continue your story? story. You're, you're, you're in the grocery store and what, what? I am. I'll get to you in a second, buddy. Don't worry. Oh, your spotlight's man. not going to no, go anywhere. Look at that. Oh, Mr. Mr. Dust, Dust, what, here. Dust, what, Dust, Dust, what's the name of your store? I'm not going to give that out. I can't. Okay. Give can, can, can you give me your competition store? Uh, Wise. Uh, Wise Wegmans. What? Sam Wise. Wise intelligent. Wegsheed. And Whole Foods. <laughs> okay. Wise. Well, Whole Foods. <laughs> Thanks, Bo. Uh, but honestly, there's no competition in my area because we got the best prices oh. and people come to us every motherfucking day, no matter where we're at. And we go from fucking fucking Boston all the way down to Virginia's. But you guys have chopped cheese. What, what the fuck is that? Does. I mean, you're talking chopped cheese from a chopped bodega? Cheese sandwich. Yeah, well, yeah, this man. is a grocery store. We're not talking bodega. Look, man, Whole Foods has embraced it. Yeah, and if, yeah, they, you know, if you I'm don't, sure, sure Whole Foods you know, got chopped cheese. Behind. I'm sure. It's, <laughs> I'm sure Whole Foods got a chopped cheese, just like you got video right now. At some point, beers and no some, beers. Me and Mitty are gonna go. At some point, we're gonna have it's, to it's separate. Part, it's both. part of the fun. Okay. It's part yes, of I get it. All right, it's listen. So, Mitty, Mitty, you're there, correct? It's part of fun. Mitty, you're there, right? Okay, so. Oh, you're I'm there. Yes. I'm, you sure? I'm, sure? Walk, I'm walking through the aisle, and I look up, and what do I see? Chopped cheese, coconut oil. Chopped cheese, coconut oil, Mitty. Is that extra virgin? Co- this is what your fucking your your fucking your uh, hill to die on is all about. Coconut oil, correct? Is he yes, he indeed. It's a natural oil. antibiotic, which. Well, we pick oh. flu viruses. Okay, what Shout else? Out to, you don't want to get sick? That's pretty I much need, all it does. I need you to run down how to use and what coconut oil is going to do. Because I spent fucking $9 on this bottle. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like you overpaid a little bit. You could get one at Trader Joe's for like four bucks. Uh-huh. But 
I mean, it's good that you finally took the step because you get sick a lot, homie. That's why I try to tell you, hey. Now, did you say to put it in my coffee? Got nothing to lose. How about antibiotics? Yes, take it. No, it is antibiotics. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. It's an all natural no, antibiotic, my friend. Okay, I'm with that. Is. So with what that. you're gonna do, man, is just take a little spoonful, put it in with your morning coffee. Mm-hmm. And I, I drink a lot of coffee. I don't know about you, but That's yeah, real put healthy. that in your morning coffee, and it's it is actually it's pretty healthy. And however mm-hmm. else, whatever way you dress up your coffee, it's good to go. You won't even taste it. Shut up, dust. Give me time. <laughs> okay. Friend. Thank you, and Nitty. What, I appreciate what, that. What, and, and what, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna, What's I'm the gonna benefits of coconut oil? There's actually lots of them because the I ben- looked it up as well. Will the hair grow? I don't need that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I need hair to grow less. Yes. Uh, will the wheels will, will the willows peak not yeah, grow? I'm, yeah, listen. I'm pretty sure that my fucking joints are going to be better. Uh, listen, Mitty, I'm with you, and I'm going to fucking try it, and we'll, and we'll talk. All and right? your cock is going to turn into a pendulum. Look, you know. Well, I it's hope it's in my happens. best interest to have the cap healthy. You know, it needs to be, I want it needs you guys to be healthy. You guys are making good music. You're in the zone. You're not fucking crying. Oh, I feel, you know, feel sick here. I got the flu. And for you people out there listening, I cry for other reasons. I mean, hey, you know. I wish fun. coconut oil made internet connections because Mitty would be on point. Mitty didn't say a fucking word when you went fucking eight minutes too long on your dentist. I'm just story. having a fucking fun, okay. man. <laughs> <laughs> we just having fun. Just bringing some flavor. I know. Listen, I know. So am I. Mitty's gonna go right. cry in a corner. Okay. Mitty, you gonna go cry hey. in a corner? Of course not. Listen. Listen. Come on, I'm bro. Used Come to on, it, man. man. Right. My internet sucks. Right. Welcome having to fucking every... fun, man. So just have fun with this, man. All right, I'm out. See you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going got, to go cry in a corner. No, you're not, because I've got some things to talk about. Where are you going? The fuck did you go? I'm crying in the corner. Okay, don't do that, because i got some things to talk about, and I want input from, from the whole team. Okay. Jesus Christ, you guys are I, fucking, like I, fucking I, uptight I, motherfuckers, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of... I feel like I'm hanging out with the fun. Golden Girls. I'm more down loose than uptight, you know what I mean? No, Here please. we go. <laughs> You know, the oh, colored girls were heard, four horsemen. You know, I heard that term before down low. Those are the OG yeah. four horsemen. It's a uh, hashtag on a porn site if you want to listen to <laughs> Dorn. <laughs> you could tell me that off air. Uh, yeah, you don't uh, want to see what the fuck. Yeah. See what the- I need to know for a friend. So, um, uh, yeah. Okay, sorry. Nice. I lost my train of thought. Sorry, I smoke Ooh, weed. So, smoke another one. Okay. Smoke weed. Smoke weed every I'm, day. Just, I'm just trying to decide what, what story to lead with here. Okay. <laughs> I'm on I'm on uh Yahoo this afternoon at work. And uh you know how like um Yahoo will kind of pick stories for you based on the things that you click on or yep. whatever, right? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Or the things you talk about next to your phone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the conspiracy theory. No, it's not even Yahoo. It's everything, man. Mm, yeah. Everything, man. Yeah. So, uh, so I see this thing pop up and it says yep, rap yep, chat. Yep, yep, yep. Rap chat. Okay. Mm. So I'm like, what the fuck is Text this? Text battles. Oh, it's going to be awful, right? So I click on it. Oh, so click- no. You clicker. So apparently, body cats. Apparently, these two guys have come up with an app that is similar to Snapchat. It only took two guys. Yeah, where where you crap rap chat. Yes, you like Maybe. basically the guy who invented it was like, you know, I went to college and like every party that I was at, there was always I'm doing a voice like that because I think he's like a Chad. You know what I mean? He's like oh, every. So he's not. He's not. He's not even a uh, person of color. So. Uh, no, doesn't no, have. A, I didn't so even look. He doesn't have proper anchorage to the basic hip hop. <laughs> what about the well, one of them taking a app? What, can, can, one of them can apparently. Can I do facial was, tattoos and and? Yes, with, I with think so. I so want to know. Real quick. You can put the filters on oh. when you have. Yeah, 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 some facial tattoos yeah. and, and, and color you, my you hair look like some tonight. rain. You put some rainbow braids in there, and <laughs> so one of them in the article and, says and, that. And, and, and when you, whenever you, <laughs> you talk, it slurs. I'm never gonna get through. This. Is, is there a slur? Never. Option. I applaud your effort. 
Uh, thanks, Bo. So one of them. Fuck you, Bo. One of them. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What, Me I'm here. fucking. I'm three seconds from abandoning this Five, fucking story. Four, three, two, one, go. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm out. I'm out. What one of them apparently is a rapper, and the other one is not. And the one that is a rapper, like in the article, it said, "Oh, he opened for." fucking Wiz Khalifa and these other things which which isn't that's that's a very uh deceiving you know headline because if you're from like fucking you know Macon and let's say Wiz Khalifa comes through and he opened yeah he opened he opened the the door for him and and Bo can sell fucking 30 tickets to the show you can fucking open for anybody really He, 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 he opened for Wiz Khalifa. He opened up the door and let him in. He was the, right. He like, was the you're basically <laughs> paying to play. That's like when, <laughs> that was a good joke, I, by the way. It was. I like it. So he opened his oh. mouth and asked for an autograph. I like oh when, God, <laughs> Jesus man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, so he's Off like the rails. When, when I was in college, at every party at like 3 a.m., there was always like some dudes in a corner freestyling. You know, and I'm like, breath. I'm like, yeah, if, if like, if that's like, why can't there be like a, 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 a rap version of Snapchat so that those no dudes at the party can post their freestyles and, and battle. other guys at their parties can post their freestyles, you know, and it'll be like a fucking community. And I'm just, like, this is, this is awful. It's awful. You know what it's called? Not. No what? one gives a fuck. That's oh, they don't man. because they got 1.6 million to start. No, of course out. they did. Of course they did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fucking, <laughs> fucking. But that's like the Chat point happened. is, is like that that that's like the worst part about being an MC or being a rapper is that you don't like. I could hand you a guitar, and you couldn't play a guitar. Right. Unless you knew how to play. I could hand you a fucking saxophone, a trumpet, whatever, like instrument. And you couldn't play it. But if you've ever read a Dr. Seuss book and you had a few fucking beers, <laughs> you, you can rock. rhyme a couple <laughs> words and then fucking people like think that like, yeah, that's like a thing. Yeah. You well, know what you I know mean? What? It, it, so it's downgrading the MC. Of course, it's because all of these guys, these fucking losers at fucking Z. Phi Kappa Alpha Beta, <laughs> you know, one night had a fucking rager and then three dudes drunkenly rhymed a few words. And I swear to fucking God, I have fucking beef with the first rapper that makes it off of this fucking app right out the <laughs> gate. The first fucking <laughs> rapper that I fucking Hell see yeah. get any sort of yeah. deal or any sort of fucking Mate. main fucking stream public. Shut up, Dust. Okay. I fucking want you. I want you. I'm back. I'm standing back. (laughs) In any way, I fucking I want it. I want it with you. Have you checked any of these guys? Do you have the app or listen to because or listen? Oh, oh, let's do a live on the air. He clicked. He clicked. I clicked. I clicked, and I went. You know what? I said this would be good for the show. He's a clicker. He's a clicker. This would be good for the show. I've got to at least investigate. Uh, yeah. uh-huh. well, so I download. Great for the show. I da- I da- I downloaded the app, and I go to fucking log in, and it just it it refuses to let me log in. So I don't know if it's not if it's you're, up and running you're, yet. You're a hot rapper. But one thing you can do, <laughs> he spits one bars. One thing you can do is you put your name in, and it gives you a fucking a uh, 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 a rapper generated name. Oh God, no way. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan has so, cold teeth. So what are you? What are you? What are you? Okay, are you ready? Ready? These are th- these were these were two of the th- the, the ones that I, I got. One was I shot Hasky. You can't put your regular name in. It I put you Nathan. No, I just put Nathan. You didn't put so, Nathan. Little has. Has. No, just just Nathan. It came up with Big Young Nathan fit. Paper Stacker. That works. Dollar sign for the S. Thanks. Yes, of course. Okay. Throw yeah. the dollar sign in. The other one was Senior Nathan Mula. Was it Senior or was it Senor Dinero Mula? Dude, that, 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 that's what Cobra Law is. Uh, Cobra Law is definitely uh, stretching out for their, of our down south audience and doing a Latin based album with, uh, 
with Nathan uh, uh, on his uh, alias. Yeah, um, yeah, there's. yeah. So that's all. That, that's that's as far as I could get. Um, but I will investigate. Uh, this that's app. For, that's as far as you got. That, that's all, I, dude. I tried to I log think in. Senor Nathan might be the link. All right, man. <laughs> we're we're gonna go further. We're, next week, let's see how far yeah. we can get. Let's go through and the rabbit hole. <laughs> Straight the up, red, the red pill or the blue pill. Straight up, if if you're gonna make an album as Senor Mula, I want to be on, <laughs> on there as Paquito. <laughs> Dude, I might even start rhyming. Paquito De Niro. I want to be Jose Guns. Oh, damn it, Jose yeah. Guetos. And I don't know if it was. Yeah. I want to be. I want to be Dulce Keys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be Jose Quetos hey, don't fucking be Dust the keys. You be dust, dust the keys. keys. <laughs> dust the keys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch out for that keys. watch out for that fucking Latin fucking nerd rap album, people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're things. speaking we're, we're speaking English, but you could translate. <laughs> yeah, we're doing big things. I mean, could you guys? Be, it's you gonna guys be, it's going to be all Latin samples, though. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, y'all got to be able to, like, yeah, I know yeah, you can. Yeah, you flip some Buena Vista Social Club. I got five, five albums by Los Angeles Negros. Oh, we, yeah. We're, we're going to rock yeah. this. We got this. Oh, we got this. Hey, you watch Los out for Angeles that fucking, you watch shit. out for that Suavemente <laughs> remix. Aguiente. <laughs> 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 Dust those. I get it. All right. Uh, uh, another crazy. Thing. I, uh, how fucked up is that? You know, like instead of Snapchat, you could battle your friends. But isn't Snapchat the same fucking thing? I don't know, man. I'm a grown man. I don't do Snapchat. Me if you're a grown, do Snapchat either. If you're if you're 25 and over and doing Snapchat, you're a fucking pedophile. Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. You're just, just in pee. there to cruise to get some fucking young girls. So don't even give me that shit, man. That that's the worst. The worst. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can get like you're gonna get Snapchat. Snapchat. You're fucking Hold on. Snapchat right now. Hold on. Hold on. I need to ask this for a friend. What? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and ask him. For a friend again. Um, Senor Nathan. Snapchat uh, is just for fucking. <laughs> speaking of, listen. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of the dating scene, Dust. Mm-hmm. Hey, I heard this. I heard this. Uh, I heard this story recently, um, mm-hmm. and it checks. It, it uh, checks out. This is this is a warning for uh, all you guys out there uh, at the club, <laughs> chatting it up. You know, <laughs> talking to the ladies. Great. Don't wipe them up. There was a story that I heard, or read, or read about, heard about, whatever, where a guy was at a bar. And he met this chick and he's, they're chatting it up. They're having a fucking great time. He, you know, he's buying her drinks. Everything is all good. She's spending some time. He's like, okay, this chick likes me, you know, yada, yada, yada. End of the fucking night kind of comes around and he's, he's like, hey, can I get your number? I'd love to take you out sometime, right? Total gentleman about it. Girl goes, absolutely. Let me see your phone. I'll put, uh, I'll put my number in it. He goes, cool. Hand her the phone. Two a minute and a half later, minute and a half later, whatever she hands, she hands the phone back. He's like, dope, goes home with his boys, you know, does whatever. Next morning, gets up to shoot her a text like, hey, had a good time last night, yada, yada, yada. Can't find her number in his phone. You know, whatever name that her her name was. She copied every password. (laughs) It was a Russian hacker. She cloned the phone. She cloned the phone. Then he checks his email. And finds out Uh-oh. that she jumped into his Venmo app and Venmoed herself $300 and then fucking handed his phone back. What's Damn. Venmo? What's yeah. Venmo? <laughs> Venmo. Yeah, what is that shit? Isn't it That's a video uh, streaming service? Venmo. Venmo is a PayPal ish. Yeah, it's like PayPal. It's like, like a PayPal? Let's say we all go to dinner, right? Okay. And, I'm, and, and, and it's 25 bucks a head. Okay. But you don't have any cash. Like I can be like, I'm gonna pay for it, and then you can Venmo me twenty five bucks, and it's like in my account instantly. Yeah, like PayPal. Yes, right. It's 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 the same people that created PayPal, but there's no friends and family fees. Oh, so there's, there's no login feature. I mean, so there's no protection. Yeah, no, no. no there, well, I mean, I don't it's know. Like, but it's like the Thunderdome of PayPal. <laughs> yes, but you wow. don't need I to mean, log still- in if your if 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 your phone's already like open. And you know what I mean? Like, there's, it's not like he he had to put a password in or something. Mm. But you should have so, to. PayPal, every safe. time you 
every time you try yes. to use it, you have to You're correct. It. You're correct. And I and I and wow, I think on so Venmo, Venmo So Venmo has some problemos. I use it all the time. I'm not gonna lie. That's why this kind of fucking hit me close to home. <laughs> <laughs> so the you fucking more the story I, I think guys. someone last well, week hit you close to home too. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> was, that, was, that was that Venmo? Was that Venmo too? Venmo? Slacking, son. Uh, Slacking. The moral of the story is, gentlemen, if you're gonna hand your phone to a to a, a lady of the night, just don't, <laughs> just don't, just don't, just watch it. <laughs> Unless, you know that, what? The only time you want to hand you you want to give a woman your phone is once she wants to fucking Here take a video of her sucking it from the back. <laughs> is that is that is that, is that, is that what we're trying to say? Those, like if she's the realest the back, words like ever. yo, give me your phone and I want to take a video of that shit, right, Biddy? Would you would, 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 would you co-sign that? Would you co-sign that? I, I co-sign it. Yes, I, it's one to grow on. Yep, it's definitely <laughs> one to grow on. It's, uh, <laughs> I can see uh, torpedo and barbecue from uh, GI Joe with the uh, the PSA announcement at the end of the <laughs> yeah it's like it's like yep. dial tone and shipwreck in yep. them they're like yep. out at the yep. bar yep. and yep. like yep. some chick <laughs> gives them the fucking phone <laughs> it's why are you give something from the torpedo back. says <laughs> torpedo says why are you giving your why are you giving your phone man and then uh, shipwreck's uh, bird is like you're an, like, idiot. you're an idiot <laughs> shipwreck says hey man she's gonna take some video of her sucking it from the back yeah you know you know shipwreck is like, is like can my dog get involved yeah uh, and, and that's one to grow on <laughs> G.I. Uh, Joe <laughs> that's fucking funny See, you know here we are uh, we're doing a Cobra Law podcast talking about G.I. Joe finally uh, no, we talked I about it. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. When I was, keep, <laughs> keep it rolling. We're, we're doing good. Keep it rolling. I, I, well, th- thanks, Coach. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I yes. want Bo to be quiet because he's been way too loud. Yeah, he got way too loud tonight. Somebody man, needs so. to shut me up. I, I, I think we, you I guys are we, on fire. I don't instead know. Of, <laughs> instead, you know, I'm just it's, watching it's, the world burn. Instead of a mini minute, we need a Bo minute. <laughs> We need the bow banter. The bow banter. There it is. Bow banter. Hashtag bow banter. Everybody in the <laughs> chat. Just throw um, There's nobody in the chat, but let's say everybody in the chat's for bow banter. Uh, Avengers comes out this weekend. Who's oh, excited? I know you're not, Dust. Who else is excited? <laughs> I mean, excited. I'm excited. Good night, guys. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> but that's the second time Dust has said good night, guys. <laughs> 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 I'm pumped. Yo, Dust kind of looks like Thanos a little bit. I love it. I love it. I, the dust is yeah, you look like my it. asshole too. Dust is uh, uh, Unicron. Who? Oh, come on, Thanos. That's a <laughs> Unicron. Unicron. From what? From fucking Transformers. Oh, I think you said Uni from fucking Dungeons and Dragons. Bang! <laughs> 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 Remember uh, Dungeons and Dragons, the cartoon? No. I do. I actually, I actually Why have. Why do I cartoon. look like Unicron from Transformers? I'm you fat. don't look like him. I just said you were. Wasn't that like your fucking moniker? Yeah, I don't get it, man. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about some shit that's been too far along, man. My, I'm out. Good night, guys. All right. So, you know, sorry. I'm fu- I'm shaming fucking, him again. I've ruined it. <laughs> I've, I've ruined it again. <laughs> that's a third- like, ev- like like everything else in my life. I've ruined it. <laughs> hey, Nate. Hey, Nate. Maybe we could do the Cole Slither album together now. Wink. No, no. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Betty. You, 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 you slithered your way this far. You're not you, slithering you guys, anymore. You guys should have seen the look on Dustmite's face right now. He's just like, yo, that shit got stoic as fuck, son. <laughs> hey, let me tell you what I watched this weekend. And, and, and I swear Don't to God. Don't get me on the story how you got no. here, man. No, I I swear to God, if you guys have not seen this or have no takes, I, I just I, I I give up. Recently added to Netflix, people, one oh. of the worst films of all time, Battlefield Earth. I like that movie. You uh, Bo, are you it. shitting me? I really like that movie. <laughs> I liked it. I like it. It was when I watched that movie, I finally learned that John Travolta was a fag. <laughs> <laughs> it changed my whole outlook of that movie. 
<laughs> Battlefield Earth changed my life. <laughs> changed my life. He was wearing like space dreads to work the next day. It changed my life. Dude, that shit is so bad, bro. Like, I really like I like I knew it was bad, and yeah, I had they, seen it back in the day. They put a lot of fucking money into that movie, man. Dude, and that's what I do. So that's what I started that's thinking about. That's because it was so, Scientology propaganda. Sure, it was written by what's his face, right? The fucking uh, uh, oh, Ron the Hubbard, that, 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 that does uh, the writing of the Scientology propaganda. Yeah, yes, yeah, I mean it was right. Yep. L. Ron. So, the, so this is what I. Hubbard. So this is what I. So this is what I'm wondering while I'm watching it. I'm like, okay, so who are the, like the main two? Uh, Scientology dudes, Tom Cruise and John Travolta, correct? At correct. that time, yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was so a lot do you, more. But... Like, I mean, do you even think... now, they're like the biggest. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you think like at some point in fucking, you know, 1999, those dudes were sitting around like fucking competing to get the rights to do this movie? Because it was like... <laughs> L. Ron, you know what I'm saying? Like, so do you think like Travolta's like, I'll fucking put in twenty million of my own money, and Tom Cruise is like, I'll put in fucking twenty two million of my own money. You know what I mean? And then like Travolta ended up winning out, but then it became like this huge bomb that almost killed his fucking career. <laughs> no, it and honestly, so, really did until Pulp Fiction came back. Yeah, and then and then somewhere fucking somewhere Tom Cruise is just laughing, going, "Fuck, glad I didn't yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, win yeah. that one." I did Mission Impossible, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right? <laughs> and then you know who else is in it? Uh, uh, Barry Pepper is in it. Who was all was in Saving Private Ryan, and he was uh uh fuck what a, he was a good fucking actor. My 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 point was that film killed a lot of people's fucking careers. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing is, like, who who is the highest up in Scientology? Because if it's not fucking Tom Cruise who's worth like fucking five hundred million dollars and it's basically a fucking religion based on that kind of shit, like at any at any moment do you think Tom Cruise like gets fucking like annoyed when he gets told what to do? He's like, dude, come on, I fucking made you guys. Pretty yeah, much. I, I don't think he gets told what to do a whole lot anymore. I think he knows how to play by the fucking rules, man. Like he's learned the system and is fucking exploited it to the max, man. And there's only like one person above him, that David Miscavige guy, David Miscavige. See, this, see Bo, this is why I asked this question because yeah. I don't know the answer. Yeah. There's one, there's like one dude ahead above, I would say Tom Cruise, which is the head, the, the Miscavige guy. He's like the head dude. And uh, his, dude, his wife, his wife's been missing for like ten years or some shit. No one's seen her. She's but they haven't Can filed. Hear me? They, they haven't uh, filed a report or anything. Yo, I heard you. Yeah, you there? All right, fine. Yeah, we got you, right, guys. I've been having mic issues, so thank you. That's, that's okay, but yeah, it's all the Scientology shit's all super fucked up. But like Tom Cruise and and John Travolta have like definitely are the reason why they are. As is Tom Cruise still following that now? Oh hell yeah, he's still oh, like, he's, he's like, locked in. dude, he's like him and John Travolta are so locked. Like in, everybody man. else is bounced, and then like the only two that's left is just John and fucking. Well, I, I here's the deal, is man, like you know the whole system is that like it's like confession for Catholics, except for they write down everything you confess to, right? And so they have a, this massive file on every member, and so if you ever decide you want to turn against the church they're like oh well let's just see here <laughs> yeah, we open your file up to pay yeah, 347 and yeah right so uh, you know what you know when i was looking through my fucking uh cody channels i saw that uh leah remy had some sort of fucking oh it's yeah, fantastic it it. yeah dude it's, it's, like she, she was beef, trying to uh I don't know if she was a member at one time, she but she was a heavy man, like a serious man. And she then she like started in that shit. I, I gotta yeah. watch that, man, because I was like, wow, this, she's break. And you know how that bitch is, man. That's, that's yeah. a straight queen's BK bitch, man. Like she reminds me of an ex-wife, man. If, 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 if anybody wants to know what does ex-wife was, that's that bitch right there. You know, from <laughs> King of Queens. 
That's my. Yeah. I can't yes. watch that show because I get disgusted. and I want to punch someone in the face. <laughs> there's really also fun. there's also a good documentary called Going Clear. Yeah, that's that's, that's the, that that one's. Whew. I didn't know there was a show. I didn't know she was doing a show. So I'm definitely it's, gonna it, fucking. It's uh, watch it's really it. heavy. It's really heavy. I yeah. feel that at so, I feel that at some point when Cruz and Travolta are in like their fucking seventies, eighties, their careers over. That that's gonna be their like one last fucking that was yesterday their their, their heel turn you know what I mean they're yeah, just gonna yeah, come out yeah, and just go yeah. we're out and all of this wild shit happened uh-huh. and and that will like bring them back well, into the spot well, what do you think because they're promoting it it's keeping them in the industry I don't think that's what it is no 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 I'm not saying that because at all honestly man both of those guys are not doing anything well like, Tom Cruise still is Tom Cruise yeah, is in hundred million dollar movies every right year. Here. The, the best the the best last thing I saw Tom Cruise did he did the uh, he did that movie uh, was it American something where he was the uh, the guy that was piloting piloting the uh, the drugs back and forth for fucking Castro oh that was a good movie yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. shit was dope yeah. that shit was yeah. real fucking hot man that was really good man but Listen, other than that man no that's what I'm saying when he's fucking when he can't fucking you know hang off of fucking airplanes in Mission Impossible anymore at some yeah, point well, Tom yeah, Cruise is gonna go off into the sunset that. you know what I mean. Shout out to his teeth. Uh, He's holding right. on to the building with his hey, teeth. That dude, that dude for real does almost all of his stunts. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's I give impressive. him mad props because you know why? He yeah. thinks if he dies, he's going to some magical fucking space land. <laughs> Fair in, enough. In, in, in a space fucking uh, world where he's 1,700 feet long with fucking <laughs> air fucking <laughs> in his mouth. But, you know, that's just Yes, me. fair enough. You know, he's, um, he's, he's, he's a star fighter. When he dies, so, <laughs> so shout out to the life, last starfighter. Life out there in dust. What's that? Hmm? Do, you, huh? do you believe in life on other planets? No, because we don't have life on this no? planet, especially in the desert. Yeah, we we have a hard life on this planet. <laughs> the hard knock life. I one thought I one thought I wasn't even asked that question, and I'm gonna tell you right now, there is there is a, there not, has to a, be. A half a percent chance that there isn't life on fucking other planets. It's yeah, of course, real. Yeah, exactly. Vegetation exactly. or spore. No. But you know what? There's you know no my Klingons. Fa- you know what my favorite shit is? The only Klingons I found was in my toilet when I when I got stuffed up. <laughs> the other day. My and, and speaking of that, I got a MacGyver moment. Uh, my toilet fucking uh, stopped up, and I don't have a fucking plunger because I've been here six months and I don't have a plunger yet. Because I threw out all my old shit, and how am I gonna unclog my toilet? I was running around the house looking at things. I don't have anything. Uh, MacGyver came into my head. I opened up my refrigerator. I have a fucking quart of milk, plastic quart of milk. Cut the bottom, uh, sl- slapped it in there, pushed on the top, and uh, freed my toilet. Shout out to fucking she didn't fly everywhere. It's my MacGyver on your hands. No, 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 no. Was, goatee. I don't. I don't know what they do in the desert, but it's not here in Jersey. Uh, shout out to my MacGyver moment. <laughs> my G, toilets are the same Only all MacGyver around the world. <clears throat> you know what my favorite thing about 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 space is? <laughs> just nothing to do with space what they were just the talking place? about. <laughs> yeah, of course. Is that uh, I just ran into them. I, I fucking listen. If 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 the movie or the TV show is in space or 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 about other planets and shit, I'm a hundred percent all in. But all of them have the exact like spaceships, right? Like we walk around spaceships, aliens, Star Wars, Star Trek, it don't matter. Like it and that's the one thing that we can't even really do. Like we can't even like, we can't walk around in the fucking space shuttle. Yeah, we, and it's space like, shit's, you know, we're flying. It's, but but we're it's, like, it's like the most basic like fucking thing in all sci-fi movies about space is that we can fucking walk around in the fucking ship with fucking gravity. And it's the thing that we're farthest away from being able to accomplish. Shout out to the anti-gravity switch. <laughs> anti-gravity switch. Um, all right, guys, listen. Uh, our friend, our, my friend, your friend. Who's friend? Uh, uh, the shirt seller. Oh, man, the shirt seller, man. Oh, yes. The sh- this yes. fucking monster. Incredible. Yes. This monster. Uh, if you Turn follow. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it promotion time? Uh, no, no, I'm just. No, I'm, I, this is actually a contest I wanted oh, to show. It should be promotion time. <laughs> no, no, I, exactly. So uh, the shirt seller. Um, I put up a picture of Hulk Hogan ripping off his shirt with a Cobra Law shirt underneath. Uh, the shirt seller, who is the shit, 
Check him out on fucking Instagram. He does all of our shit. Uh, emailed me what a t-shirt would look like with that on it and said, let's fucking do this. Mm. And a lot of people looked at the picture and they liked it. So we're doing this, as you know. Yep. It's going to, it's going to be a very, very limited run. I'm going to put one order in and pre-order. that's it. We, we're doing pre-orders. So basically. Well, I don't do pre-orders because then I'd be going against a fucking a rant that I had. I'm not doing. Yeah, but you know what? If monetary music, pre-orders. I yeah, do, I do yeah, yeah. do pre-orders, so you know. Ain't yeah, nothing wrong with pre-orders. Get yeah, a lock. If they want to order yeah. it now, they might change. You got a lock. You, you, you know what? We're dealing with a fucking industry. A lot of people say, yeah, I'm in until it's time to be in. And they're right. not in. And they're yes. like, mm. <laughs> yes. Type shit. So we're gonna do uh we're gonna do a couple contests. It's gonna allow some people to win some free shirts. Hmm. Can I win it? One one of them is gonna be a simple one. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fat. No, nobody's shirt is free. I wear black hair. <laughs> I win. Three uh, XLT. So uh uh we're gonna do a couple different ways. Uh what we want you to do is screenshot either you subscribing on the iTunes channel or the fucking YouTube uh, channel. Unfortunately, I can't put every episode on SoundCloud because I don't have enough space. Yeah, fuck that, man. We're just going to yeah, go. You know with, what I'm saying? Uh, I just, I, you know. We're on to iTunes now. You could, yeah. uh, get the, you could get the audio on podcast or podcast addict. If you're an Android user, you could just uh, yeah. get the RSS feed and you could listen to it. And we're doing it on YouTube. So fuck all exactly. that. Exactly. So yeah. screenshot, it's, out of it's fucking out of here, bro. Screenshot you subscribing to the show or reviewing, giving us a fucking five star rating. Yeah, fuck uh, subscribing, giving us a five star. Yes, five star exactly. Rating should be and listen, if listen, if you've actually listened and don't want to give it, actually give it anything less than a four, I just really want to hear from you. Yeah, yeah I really do. do. Yeah, 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 man. Because we would appreciate the Let's hear what's up. criticism. D- right, you know, exactly. we're not asking you to jerk us off. Just let us know what's up. Exactly. So you can at um you can add us on uh Instagram. You can add Nathan at Skill, at Bometheus, at Dustmites, at Midichlorian Music. Um and then if underscore. hey guys, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna uh, underscore Midichlorian underscore music. Um yes. if you if you uh if you guys get one that isn't added on me, just make sure that you let me know so that I can put these people's names in the uh the running to win a free t-shirt then we'll do it randomly we'll put the names in a fucking generator we'll pop them up boom you get a free t-shirt you get a free hard copy uh i might even throw some extras in there bo had made some cobra law record stickers that i still have a couple of uh you might get a bometheus album before dust and midi um, <laughs> i was afraid yeah. that was, I was afraid that was coming <laughs> Ah! Stickers, I really want. I want them stickers. I like fucking uh, De Niro and, and fucking Cape Fear. <laughs> okay, so that's one way you can enter the contest. Yeah, I get, I get throw instrumentals joint together too, man. Just, oh, guess. and oh, and anybody that enters as well, anybody that screenshot and enters, I'm gonna personally email you a new unreleased track that nobody's heard yet, other than the you people know, on the panel. You know what I'll do too. Uh-oh. So I'm feeling real generous. Whoever get wins will get, get a copy internet of of the yeah. Come on, man. Sorry, sorry. It's just, whoever it's gonna get a copy of, of this remix album, Who? Midi Chlorian remix album. Perfect. That I'm fucking with right now. A lot of dope remixes, and it'll be free. You won't have to buy it. It'll Ooh, be yeah. free. Look at that! Yes. Look at that! You're at your, look, at your, that. Your, look at that! You're adding to the, the pot every day. Exactly. Adding to the pot every day. You're 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 trying to win some merch, and you're going to get some music as well. Yeah, man. It's a good. It's, um, a, good, it's a good look, this, man. It's definitely yes. a good look. Oh yeah. The second way. Oh, we got two ways that you can enter this contest, and I have a feeling that I'll be honest with you guys. I'm a realist. Mm-hmm. Nobody's probably going to do this. Okay. But if you do. What? You're probably gonna you're gonna get a free shirt automatically. Oh yeah. On the album of Cabbages and Kings, mm. I make reference mm. to some super villains real mm. names as Thanks. opposed to their villain name. I'm gonna give you a freebie. Two Face, the Batman villain. His real name is Harvey Dent. Harvey Dent. Harvey Dent. So 
There are other villains like Kingpin. His real name is Wilson Fisk. Oh, you gave him another okay? one. Why? Yes, I gave, I gave two. I was going to go. That, I was that's gonna, how I was much gonna I say, know. Yeah. I was going to say, womp, 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 womp. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm giving a couple freebies away. Okay. You listen to the album. You listen to every song. And you jot down how many So you have to names. listen to the album. To well, yeah, it. that's the only way to win. Yep, that's the only way to win. Yes. So you got to listen to the album. It. And if you, if, you can give, if you can give me the names and how many there were, I mean, I guess just give me the names, free T-shirt, free hard copy. I might even have some of the limited edition Nathan Eskill posters laying around from oh, way ooh, back in the day. I might ooh. have one of those left. Everybody you know, amp that shit up like woo. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see about that. That's a nice package. Hell the yeah. Third way, the third way. That's you said. That's Nathan with the nice package. <laughs> the third way. <laughs> if I had a dime Senor for every time I've made that. Yeah. You, you have Senor 35 Nathan cents. Nathan Mula. You have 35 cents. Three fries. <laughs> I got a half of one. It was like, eh, it's a, eh I liked it. Uh, the third <laughs> way. Eh, you get a, eh. I'm sorry. The, thir- the third yeah. way is there's going to be a Bum. phrase from this episode. Okay? Man grenades. The phrase yes. pays. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to give some clues on what it is, and you have to listen to the episode. I'm not going to make it too hard. And if you get what the fucking phrase was from this episode, I don't know what it's going to be. It might be me. It might be Mitty. All it might be Dust. It, all, all this for a t-shirt. You see what I'm saying? Sure. See what I'm saying? Uh, it might be in Spanglish. And if you nail it, if you nail what the uh, phrase is, after I give, I'm going to give clues on Instagram. Boom, free T-shirt. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. That's what we're doing. Jose Cuetos. Here. That's what we're doing around here. Jose Cuetos, Nathan, I'm Senior sorry. Nathan Mula, <laughs> Dust Eckies, and and <laughs> who? And, and who are you, Bo? Who is this I'm, 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 like I'm like a Wu Tang Clan member. I got a new alias, Dust at Keys. What, what were you, Bo? Paquito De Niro. Paquito <laughs> De Niro. Oh, thank God. Roberto Paquito De Niro. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think I like De Niro Paquito better. I think, the, I think that flows oh, a little better. Better than yes. Paquito Bito. I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so that's uh, that's what we're gonna do, boys. We're gonna uh, we're gonna give some stuff away. All right, so we got some giveaways. Hopefully, we got some new t-shirts going on and some giveaways. And these, listen, and these are a very these are another very limited edition run. I'm only doing this one. So if you get the fucking you know the fucking Cobra Law Mania t-shirt, you were in early. You know what I mean? I'm still going to do a run of some more that I'll have commonly like the regular label one and all that kind of stuff. And this is also one thing real quick. I want people to know that I fucking love you guys. Oh, and I want, and I want people to know and realize that I'm eight albums in, right? I made albums in. I have never made fuck you dust. I have never made a fucking strictly Nathan has skill t-shirt. You know why? Because I'm about the team. And what, and and what about and what about the uh, what about the? I, I the, have uh, one. What are you talking the what? About, what about the the deep sea shirt? Oh, that doesn't fucking count. That I made counts. like fucking eight of those. No, like, that fucking counts. no, that doesn't count, dude. I'm talking about the real shirts that we fucking made. Since because I made those before I met you guys, so no, 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 no. You, I, I knew you when you made it. Oh, no, look at this guy. He's, he's that was before. This, that this shirt is like like that a guy. He's never worn it. <laughs> My shit is <laughs> yellow. I've worn it so hard, it's yellow. <laughs> I wear it to bed now. Okay. Hoping to get laid. But never I've been bamboozled. You know, I can't fuck you with a Nathan Haskell shirt. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I can't okay. do that. With what I'm really trying to say is that... All, all right, here we go. Rewind. And make are about the team. Yeah, let's let's, I mean? let's get the brand out, man. Let's it's get the brand it's, out. it's you know what I'm saying? Like it's not it's not about I always get hit me. up. It's about us. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, always getting hit up for more Cobra La record shirts. So we need yes, to go yes. we need to take the 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 basic brand show. Yeah, the, the real logo. That's yeah. what motherfuckers want. 
put it out I, there. I'll be like yeah. Dre. You know, I could and, literally you know be what? like If Dre we find the right guy to do it, we could, we could get a good price. You, you know, mean you mean it's like not, it's not you mean always, like the shirt seller? The shirt seller. <laughs> da, 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 da. It's not yeah. always about the making best. a profit. It's just about getting the name out there. You know, hundred percent, hundred percent. That's what shout out to. I just, I guess, I guess, I just wanted to say, I fucking love you guys, man. Uh, yes, this has been. Wow. Uh, this love you, bro. <laughs> this oh, has been a I'm great gonna, show. Can we get a William? Yeah. Def- can we get a William the full moment? Uh, uh, Bo, do you want to uh, you want to pitch anything, bro? Uh, Come on, we're out, we out, we out. Look, look, we out, we out, we out. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it lame and just, uh, and just reiterate your sentiments, my friend. That uh, I love get, I love getting together with you guys, and I love collaborating with you guys. I always have fun. You know, uh, whenever y'all are involved, you know, it'd be really Um, great doing videos. Hey, hey, he's gonna do that. Put you on the spot. Put you on. I was was actually, I was, I was actually gonna hit up. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you, oh, you're gonna put him on the spot too. You know, yeah. Yeah, conference, no, call, no. conference call it's, on the spot. It's, it's past How due. about this, Bo? Past hey, Bo, 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 how about this? I'm giving away a, a, a new track. Mitty's giving away some remixes. The video is what you are going to contribute <laughs> to this fucking I'm giving video. video of what? You know what? I, I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Man, we had we had so many great fucking tracks. Goblin Dust, all these great tracks. Dude, there's so many good ones. Oh, man. Yeah. So we, we, we you know, I'm gonna double work. down. I'm gonna double down here because I'm feeling a little generous. You know, if anyone has a beard that's uh, at least as long as mine, I don't know if you guys have seen that full nope. duck dynasty, but if nope. you got a pretty decent beard and you cut it into a handlebar mustache, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will give you. A free copy of the Midi Chlorian Remix album. <laughs> and it'll, it'll be worth it. Perfect. You'll be shaving your shit down to a, a handlebar mustache every day. You'll have a Harley. You'll start beefing with your sons and all that shit. That's it'll you. Like- that's you, Jay Pumps. <laughs> uh, Jay right, Pumps. Dust. No, dust, what up, brother? You good? Yeah, I'm straight, man. Yo, shout out to uh, the Cobala family. I love you guys to death. Follow me on Instagram at DustMites. Uh, uh, Eddie Dustmites in the Facebook groups. Uh, we're just gonna continue to pump this shit out, man. This show had a lot of fucking flavor, man. This show had some volume and had some flavor. It had some life. Uh, fucking great time tonight, man, guys. I love you all to death. And let's keep it moving, man. You know, get these beats going and let's bring some new music to these douchebags that say they don't fucking download it. Order or some pay shit. For- order some shit. Order some yeah, shit. Yeah, order the Mitty. fucking shirts. You know what? Let's see some fucking shirt orders, man. Exactly. And if anybody I'll- wants a if anybody wants a basic Cobra Law t shirt order, hit us up. So we know. Yeah. We're not gonna make yeah, them. I've got, no, I've got enough. about uh I've got about uh f- fifteen maybe people. Yeah, there's a lot in, of people in, that want that in, that, that in basic on the uh no, 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 I'm saying no. Fifteen people in on the Hogan shirt. Oh yeah, I'm in on the Hogan shirt. Three yeah, XLT, yeah. baby. Three yeah, XLT. Yeah. So, so oh, yeah. let's go, let's go. Don't, uh, <laughs> don't, don't make me make a small order there. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's make it worth Let's give the shirt seller some business. Let's, uh, worth let's have a dope, while. you know, let's have a dope shirt. The shirt seller, man, he does some fucking great work, man. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna have Rich on. He's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah does, uh, we definitely need him on the show yeah, we because I want to hear about, I want to hear about how he's. Fucking pressing these things in his fucking basement like a G. Yeah, man. Exactly, man. And like, like here we are talking about guests. Like, what happened to our guests? Yes, you're right. You're 100 percent correct. Listen to that. How was that interview? No, I haven't even listened to it. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you Uh, still haven't listened to it? No, I did listen. I did a listen, everybody. I did it. I did a drunken interview (laughs) with uh, my cousin. I'm I'm putting you out there, man. Uh, I need to go through and listen again. And see if it's funny or not. So I'm gonna send it to uh, Bo and Dustin Mitty. And if it's funny enough, you know, and if it's ends up, are being you gonna longer, edit it and then send it to us? Or just... yeah, I, well, I'm, I'm gonna listen. I might cut a couple things. If it's if it's any longer than like 20 minutes, maybe we'll put it out as like a standalone, like an exclusive kind of. Man, fucking I'm print. sure it's gonna be good, man, because yeah. you guys are fucking funny as guys. I love following you guys. So so it should, should be, be good. good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, should be good. Fuck it. 
Just send right. it. Yeah. Send it through, bitch. Yes. <laughs> All right, boys. Yeah, uh, I did call you a bitch, by the way. Uh, uh, Mitty, can you just say suck it from the back one time? Suck my dick from the back. Yeah, that was too fucking. That, that was too fucking. <laughs> time for your mind. It, 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 it totally <laughs> felt uncomfortable because it was too intimate. <laughs> with that said. You know, you got to kind of. <laughs> with that said. Intimate. Farewell. From the territory. Why? Why would you fucking steal his why thunder? Why would you fuck that up? <laughs> yeah. Why would you steal his why thunder, would you man? Fuck that up? You know what? Now, now you know why you're getting fucking booted from this. Yeah. Yes, booted. Oh uh, yeah. Shout that out to the Avenue. My mood is cold flu. All right. Take two. We can go to two. All right. Farewell. Yeah, from the terror drop. I'm waiting for me. I'm waiting. I was waiting. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good shit, gentlemen. I like that. Oh, oh god, god, here we go again. <sighs>